Do it from memory. From memory. Hold on, let me use my scepter. Oh, I see a lord. A giant lord. You, you push the lord. <laughs> Have the you seen the lord? The is strong <laughs> in the realm. It's a lord. There are things in the lord. You push it. You push the payload. What the fuck is moving this? What the fuck was moving this? Hello? Hello? Oh, there he is. There we go. So we successfully defended that. Sorted. We didn't get a point. We didn't get a point for defending. We didn't... I don't know what he's doing. Is this animation bugged? He's on room. Oh, shit. I got back. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? I will mess up the first spell, but not the second. Oh, no. What is this dark magic? Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 I think that I've been dead since the start Haven't been too much inside my heart But I don't even care no more I'm gonna dance till I end up on the floor Yeah, love you, love you Love you, love Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evan Rainday Rainer and today is an exciting day. Why? Because WESA has announced a new Paladins Premier League, otherwise known as the PPL, in cooperation with Hi Res Studios. WESA partnering up with hi -res. I was over the moon, I was going crazy, the world of Paladins was going crazy. And then you literally, 180. Facebook, I'm curious as to why they're going down this route. Now, Bacon50 put out a quick vlog on Twitter, on his phone, and the following is what he said. One, money, two, money, and three, money. Now, he happens to be right on all accounts, and uh, yeah, they're sacrificing uh, their viewership for money. Twitch is the steam of esports. Why would you do it? Every other major esport title, CSGO, League of Legends, Dota, everything, everything is on Twitch. And you go to Facebook that has crap buffering, has a crap chat system, and quite frankly, isn't secure in my opinion. I don't think it is. And quite a lot of other people don't think it is either. Um, can it be recovered uh, after your contract ends with Facebook or whatever it is that you're doing with Facebook? Um, we Here's the hoping, because if not, you are shooting your game in the foot. Oh, hey folks, um, yeah, this is Open Beta 64, it's a very, hmm, situation, a, a lot of the cards are, well, broken, <laughs> they're broken, and, well, this is sort of the extent of, like, the balance, so, yeah, I think we've all seen enough anime to, to know where this is going, to be honest, okay, so, this one, I, I mean, it's, it's different. It's weird. This, basically, a lot of the game is ba balanced now around the fact that there is no balance. So, just like, screw it. A lot of the level 10 stuff is, I, I would say, broken, but just weird. So there's, there's even cards that don't make any sense. Like, Kness has a card where you can have, you can target more than five people with your minds, but, I mean, think that through. If you How can you target more than five people? So, also, extreme buggy. I was, I was kind of coming in, I wanted to have a laugh, but I, as I've been setting up my stream, I think I've gone sad again. I keep going through the, the, the stages of being, like, laughing at it, and then being sad. Oh, 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 oh,
Marquee talking point. OB66 Paladins Battlegrounds will be released. It is officially announced right now. You can stop asking me in streams. So excited for those. Why don't you give us a kind of an overview of the basics of the mode Absolutely. and what people can expect? Yep. So with Paladins Battlegrounds, we are going to take 100 players, throw them into this brand new, gorgeous cinematic landscape, and have you guys fight to be the last one to four men or women standing. <laughs> it's um, by far one of the best experiences um, to date that we've kind of implemented and developed uh, for the game and really just makes the product as a whole uh, truly better. Um, it brings something that's unique. It's going to offer an experience that our existing users are going to identify with as something that's truly Paladins, um, while at the same time capturing a lot of the magic of this kind of just exciting Royale style and mode. Oh, that was so sad. That was fine, bro. Oh, him! That chicken is faster than me. I'm going. That chicken is faster than me. I have so much. <laughs> really? Yes. You're like a chicken farmer, Bugsy. Oh, you got him. Nice. Jonas is down. Oh my. Cassie is low ish. Oh, wait. Stunt, I'm low. Stunt. Yes. Stunning it again. Yes. <laughs> Was that two teams? Everyone at High Res wants to make the best possible game, you know, on whatever team that they're working on. And Paladins is no exception to that. I think the driving goal is to build games that we ourselves want to play. Paladins has evolved to be a really great eSport. We started out with uh, a sanction from WESA, the World eSports Association, the only second title to achieve that sanctioning. And looking at 2018, we anticipate more teams, more great prizing, and bigger and better eSports. So from that original goal of just building a great competitive shooter, we've come quite a long way. We've taken a few detours and corrections along the way, but at this point, with the launch of Paladins, we're all looking forward to a very bright future. Okay, what do I have space jam on? Five. This is a build to end all builds. Here we go. No! What? No, 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 no. talking about how to solve bugs, 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 bugs. We have a lot of bugs in the realm, and we need your help. Now, here's a video. Okay. Wait, let me just play a point here, if I can. Alright, I have a feeling we're playing Serpent, right? I think we're playing Serpent, if I recall correctly. You're on. I don't know what's going on! You can't, you can't go into the spot, do it again. Yeah, boy! No, no, I didn't. 
Easy high res, dude. Let's go. Wait. What? What? Dude, now I can see fucking titties whenever I want, man! Um, so you touched on the console differences um, between... Sorry, the console and the PC differences in terms of balance and that kind of thing, but just for like the community, would you mind just touching on that a little bit again? You gave the sure. example of the turrets. Yeah, I think the most important thing um, to kind of put the community's mind at ease mm. is that we plan on um, entirely balancing the game separately for consoles than we do for PC. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to do anything that would harm consoles because of PC tuning, and mm -hmm. we don't want to do anything that would harm PCs because of console tuning. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think that's the highest level um, sort of statement, and there's been a lot of um, unease of, you know, oh God, yeah. I play on this platform, so that means this platform's going to ruin it for us, mm -hmm. or, you know, I play on the other one, and um, we wouldn't do that. The biggest core game feature that is coming this patch, and oh gosh, I'm actually scared to say this one a little bit. Yo. Ranked will be receiving full crossplay. <laughs> What this means is <laughs> Look, I have controller on! Look, half my shots are headshots, and I never miss! <laughs> Stupid ass aim assist. <laughs> Look at my controller! I'm so good! <laughs> Fucking aiming for you! No skill! It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Going alongside hitboxes and hit when I shouldn't, what is our stance on cheating and banning cheaters? How do we determine if someone's cheating? So we actually have a pretty big uh, ops team now, obviously going through Global Agenda, Tribes, Smite, now with Paladins. We have uh, a, a wide list of engineers and, and talented ops team members who are looking through that. Um, we generally can find them. Um, there's definitely some other things we can do to start adding in some more kind of uh, extra layers of cheat yeah. detection to catch them faster and ban them faster. Um, I can tell you right now we're banning about three to five people every minute. Um, so we're definitely wow. catching them. Uh, we have a very hard stance on cheaters. So um, we're getting through as fast as we can. Support is also kicked up um they're cracking down pretty hard enemy leon speed hacking my teammate maldampa speed hacking aleran aimbot and a drop hacker he's been at it for weeks and apparently also the andro is aimbotting but uh, i'm not sure about this yet but this guy i have i have a clip and proof of the aimbot and he's been dropping my games like this week like five times already so there we go. 2024. Paladins. And also, Paladins is done. I'm done with Paladins. Anyone that has watched me throughout the years for Paladins, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Paladins and hi res themselves for giving me a chance. There was a, a time when Paladins partner program started up and then there was the Paladins game stream and they were looking for streamers on there and I wanted to be one of those. And shout outs to Rain Day, homie. Hooked me up, it got me in there late was like, I think you're good enough, I want you in here. And I became like kind of a staple part of the Paladins game community. Like people people liked me, some people didn't, sure, if you, no one likes everyone, but like, I wanted to branch out. There were sometimes I got frustrated with it, but I, I, I enjoyed it. But now, dude, I don't think you guys deserve these, these fake ass enthusiastic Paladins videos. You don't. I'm not enjoying it anymore, I'm sorry. It's not even high res's fault. I mean, maybe the decisions that they made or evil mojo the decisions they made throughout the years that have caused people to slowly deter and go away from the game in the end it's just the, it's a smaller player base and my biggest gripes right now are poor matchmaking because people aren't on like there's not enough people to actually get good matchmaking so every game either feels like i'm going up against sweaty tryhards or like i get a bot in a game or a dc it's not fun first we need to talk about evil mojo versus high res very important distinction i have to make before i say anything Hyrule Studios is the company that owns Evil Mojo Studios and other companies that run their other games. Hi-Rez sucks. I fucking hate Hi-Rez. 
I hate everything to do with them. I hate their business practices. I don't like the higher ups that are there because of what they have done and things I have heard. And I don't like the way they treated Paladins and they treat their other games. Evil Mojo, on the other hand, Paladins dev team, amazing. I love you guys. I love every set of devs that have come through Paladins. You guys have done amazing and you deserve all the love and praise in the world. You guys might not think that, but you have to understand that Hyrus is the reason why Evil Mojo doesn't get funding. They don't put money into the game. They don't care about the game. They move on to their next project, their next big thing, instead of reinvesting the money into the games that already have a fan base. The only one that they do that really is Smite. Smite makes a lot of money off skins, so they put the money into Smite to make more skins and make more money so they can produce their new games and their upcoming three years late games. With all that being said, fuck Hyrus. I love Evil Mojo, though. But, guys, you can't get these any other way. These are all limited skins. Limited. Uh, we only will offer them once, and that is for the duration of this event, um, basically. So. so, if you ever see anyways with these 10 years from now when Palin, yeah. Paladins Esports is um, kind of taking over the world, and you see someone with this, then uh, you'll know that they, they were at the beginning. At um, the beginning. <laughs> If I am alive this time next year Will I have arrived in time to share
Paradise, guys. See you on the Paradise stream. It's gonna be amazing.